So I'm going to be showing you the best way of getting gems efficiently and fast. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Beef Play channel. And today guys, we are going to be doing a video on the best way of getting gems efficiently and fast. Obviously, you will have to do a bit of work into it to be able to actually get a good outcome of a lot of gems. Get them ready for the latest updates and so on. Guys, I am going to be hosting a giveaway. Okay, so there's three steps up to enter. The first step is subscribing, then joining the Roblox group, and then joining the Discord and then you will be entered but if you are not subscribed or if you haven't joined the roblox group you will not be uh, entered and we will be re-rolling so if you win the giveaway and if you haven't subscribed or joined the roblox group before we ended the giveaway then we will re-roll and we will five hours later there will be another winner so uh, make sure you do join the roblox group and subscribe and join the discord to react with the giveaway bot so uh, if you have done all those steps make sure you comment it on this video okay so the first thing that we have to do is actually head to these uh, sunken ships so this starts off the method okay so if there is a sunken ship you this is the first place you want to go if there's not and if you're in a public session you will have to wait for it but you can always do other things to get gems and i'll go through that later on in the video okay so there is a lot more to this than just getting sunken ships so make sure you do stay tuned inside of the video the whole video so you can find out make sure you drop a like and subscribe and obviously join our discord if you want to sign into the giveaway so let's head down to the bottom fingers crossed that we can actually do this so let's get down really quick okay perfect right uh so if you zoom out you'll actually find them a lot easier so as we can see we got right here with it okay so it is an epic ship but it's nothing too good but if you want to stock up on gems this is the way this is how i got around let's say 500 of them uh obviously not including that 24 hour thing so we got 10 gems here so what you want to do when you get to this point you actually want to leave the game Okay, so when you do get back into the game, you actually want to head over to the next location. So as you can see, it's right here again. So we're actually going to head over to this location again. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to head over here. So when you reach this area, you want to get it. But this time, you do not want to leave the game. This is the next step of what you need to do. So the steps involved of this is you join a VIP server or you join a public game. You get the treasure, you leave the VIP server, then you join the VIP server, you get the treasure, and then what you do, you do quests. So when you do quests, obviously you're getting gems, but in the time frame of the 30 minutes or waiting for another ship to spawn, you are more likely to get more gems within 30 minutes than you would with just doing these pirate ships. So overall, it's a good, good method I've been starting to do it and I'm going to be doing it a lot more. So guys, make sure you join the VIP servers. I'm going to be in it a lot in this next couple of days to be able to try and get a lot of gems. So what we're going to do, we need to find this. So it's probably over this location. So let's zoom out here. Let's see if anything's over here. Uh, okay, so it's right here, as you can see. So we're going to go get this. So it might be gold uh, you have to bear that in mind but fingers crossed it is gems okay so we did get gems for that that's good that's another you know 20 gems that we've got overall from that so what you want to do you actually want to reset your character so when you reset the character this this keeps repeating the process so you know you join the vip server you get the treasure you leave the vip server you join the vip server then get the treasure and then do quests and then as soon as the you know ship comes back along uh, by the time you completed all of these another ship spawns and then overall you are making a lot more catch 22 no thanks right okay so let's get this one and let's catch 22 trout okay i, I don't think i want to do the 22 trout so at that point i would leave the game and rejoin but we're gonna do some red uh rock fish so i believe that we have to head over to this location behind here so what you can do you can always check your map uh, figure out so it's right here so okay that's fair enough so we have to head over to this area right here so they are common 
and we do need to only get three of these so we have 14 minutes to complete this and if you think about it that's more than enough time to be able to get 22 you know trout for example so what we're gonna do we're gonna head all the way over here so you can use a you know the basic rod if you are looking for commons uh, that is probably your best bet of actually doing that so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna use the def default rod for now just so i can get those commons so let's start fishing around about here because we don't want to go inside of the um hot spots because there are a lot of hot spots within this map so let's get these so i think this is it i'm not too sure i don't think it is i think this is a yeah legendary oh okay yeah it is uh wait that 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 doesn't seem right okay red oh okay oh okay right right it's a legendary so if you do equip your best rod with the rarity and keep fishing so let's see if we can get so all we need is three of these so that shouldn't be too much of a problem i mean i might as well get the blue versions of the fish as well might as well okay that is not it that's a pike okay that's not what we need come on we need to get something good right okay perfect so we need one more of these now and then we should be okay perfect 1000 xp that's perfect right there okay that's not what we need next thing okay perfect so let's pick this up here and then let's head back so while that's reeling we cannot head back so to maximize efficiency what we can do we can actually reset our character and repeat this process over and over again so now we got back we can head straight in here we can let, let me just turn when it spawns so okay perfect mission complete thank you all right uh, let's let's do this click here yes okay uh let's accept that so it does reset in 12 minutes so that's enough time to complete all three of them so i don't know why it says like 22 uh, only for 19 gems it's a little broken to be honest it's it's not really worth it or worth the time of actually doing it but i mean i'm gonna do it anyway uh so let's do this okay perfect right let's see if we can get 22 fish so i don't know how long this is could could take it could it take absolutely ages Okay, so obviously I had to get 22 of each fish, so obviously I wouldn't be able to actually complete it completely, but that's understandable if I have to get 44 of fish to be able to complete two challenges only for 19. So, uh, by the time you completed all the challenges, if you actually do get good challenges, you, all you have to do is head back to this location and... Uh, collect it and then head all the way back to port and keep repeating that process back and back and forth and then you'll be able to obviously keep getting those gems really really quick and it also so it maximizes your time so in 15 minutes you can get there and back continuously so i did get pretty much half of the trout and it's seven minutes remaining so you still are looking at about six minutes so that only took six minutes and i gained about if if you had a good challenges it would only take half the time uh and you you would gain about 50 gems in just in just pretty much under a i don't know four four three minutes so it doesn't take long to do this method so let's grab this so things cross gems gems okay so we did get 10 gems so you're looking at about 60 to 70 depending on your challenge obviously i had really really bad challenges uh, and obviously that affected the actual getting it but i assure you if you use this method so go to so go to port do your thing uh you know join the vip server or join a public server get the treasure leave the vip server then join the vip server or public session uh, get the treasure do all your quests get back to the treasure and then you'll be able to obviously get a lot of gems really really quickly 
So this year is slightly different, it's within different games. Last year and the year before that it was within a Roblox game and you go find the eggs and then you pick them up. But this time they made it a lot more trickier to do and obviously you have to go in different games to actually get it. So as you can see, for example in this game, uh, the disposal, whatever you want to call it, I don't even know, hunt, uh, collect every spider in the map to get this egg. Uh, so you have to head to all these places, so it's like a challenge in each game. Uh, if you click on here, and uh, let me figure out how to do it. Okay, perfect. So when you're on this menu here, uh, if you scroll, it kind of gives you a hint of what game it goes in. Uh, so for example, if you click on this one, it'll tell you where you need to go. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do, do drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.